nine holes from the front nine and the back nine but anyway nine hole horse log how well can we do let's get it and see before we start the video guys go down there hit the like button it'd be very much appreciated and don't forget to go down and subscribe that's also very much appreciated help the channel grow and uh, help me put more content out to you guys but anyway nine hole course log green acres golf club let's get it and that is drifting right that's not exactly where you want it at up there right hand side shot two we're on the right hand side of the fairway big massive plug hole where it's just landed and bounced out pitching wedge in hand over these trees hopefully get one on the green tell you what that should be good that should be good we might be on i'm not too sure can't see over the trees but let's go and check it out shot three just short off the green on the fringe instead of chipping it i'm going to try and put it hopefully it's the right choice sloping from it's sloping I don't even know where it's sloping but I'm gonna go just I've gotta go right at the pin. It's more or less about pace. Green's arc back. I'm going for the bird, I'm going for the bird. I'll tell you what's not bad for power guys. If I can get that I'll be happy. If I can get that I'll be happy. We'd like to have been closer. Come on, straight enough, it's straight enough for straight enough for power. There we have it. Nice solid part to start. Nice solid part to start. Remember what I always say here? The second hole in this course always gets me. Well, a little bit of turn on it. A little bit of turn. But that is right in the middle of the fairway. We'll take that. So, currently sitting 117 yards. I must be the only person that can find the fairway that turns around the corner and sticks on and no more but 117 yards pitch wedge in hand i think i think it is slightly downwind i think the wind's cutting across a little bit so pitch wedge in hand gonna take a little bit off it oh shanked it i've shanked it i've pulled it right across it that's not what you do there guys that was definitely one to forget about there i've literally come down on it was i've come down on it i felt the face open shot free 58 degree in hand Let's try and get one on here should be all right should be on yeah we're on the dance floor we're power put stick 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 i think we're on the edge but we're power putting anyway can we get this this is for power come down where's the turn where's the turn no turn whatsoever so this is for the bogue come and get the bogey every time we play this hole i usually birdie or power the first hole and then once we get to the second hole, it's usually a double bogey. So I need to try and get that out of the mind. Forget about the second shot there and try and get the bogey. <laughs> oh my God, I've, I've literally talked myself into it. And there's the double bogey in this hole, as I was saying. Double bogey on this hole again. This, this hole is literally my nemesis. It is such... I don't know, great drive and then really bad approach shot, I'd literally come right across the ball with the face open. Ah, double bogey. Hole three, which is a par three, I think it's roughly about 170 yards in the wind actually, so should be going up a club, or down a club, sorry. I've got seven iron in hand, hope it's the right number, hope it's the right number. Should be good. If the wind doesn't catch at it, hopefully that's all right. Oh, we're actually in between the two bunkers yet again. So, in the bunker. Ball well and truly below my feet. Bunkers are like brick. One stick, stick, stick. That's a really good out there. That's a really good out. I think it's a little bit of right to left in this. So it does. Up and down for par. We'll take that. Great shot. Hole four. Par four. I think it's 300 and maybe it's 402 yards, is it? I'm not too sure. Or 370, 380. 
not check the scorecard. But anyway, hole four, target. Let's try and get one over them bunkers down there. Tell you what, guys. I've literally just topped that. I've hit well and truly before the ball. I've literally just went about 30 yards from the tee box. I've literally topped the drive. Which isn't great, I've got a five wooden hand. Just want to try and get one close to it. I'm going to try and aim this a bit left. Oh, this could be good. Oh, come on, turn on me a little bit. It's down there and it actually went, didn't really go that far. I thought it was going to go further than that, but we're down there. Shot frame, we're still not on the green. I've got a 58 degree in hand. We're sitting about 65 yards. Wind's slightly against as well. Just go and try and go and try and get one close to the pin here. Ah, oh, come on, that is so pathetic. That is so pathetic. Come right across it again. Shot four, we're still not on the green. We started well with a par, and then we went to the usual double bogey, and then we went par. And this is for par, and we're still not on the green. Pitching wedge in hand. Just need to try and get one close. Go in, go in, go in. <laughs> what a shot. I'll tell you one thing. That was actually so unlucky. I had a little bit more pace than that and that was, that was going for it. It was turning for it and everything. This is for bogey. And there's the bogey. A good recovery. We'll take that. Hole five. It's a par four. 380 yards. Stroke index five. Big dog in hand. Try and get one down there. Tell you what, that was actually off the hill, believe it or not. And it took a big kick right. Stayed on fairway and then it just took a kick right on me. Shot two. The drive went a little bit right. It literally came off the heel of the driver. So. Still a big drive, but we're 151 yards, downwind, 151 yards, usually an E-iron for me, but I'm going to play an A-iron because it's downwind. Uh, just hope we get one on the green. Beat a number, beat a number. Might have just rolled on there, I'm not too sure guys. So, we are on the fringe of the green, if you want to call it. This is for birdie. Cannot pill. Just need to go right at it. Keep going, keep going. Tell you what, the pace wasn't there, but the line was there anyway. Hopefully it's a top end par. And there's another par. We're going well here. Let's keep this going. Hole six, par three, playing downwind. It's just a strange thing because last time I was on this hole hit an eight iron. The, friends, the pins at the front. I've got a pitching wedge in hand. Hope to just try and get one out of here. Oh, roll out, roll out, roll out. That's not bad, we'll take that. And he's absolutely catapulted up and past it. In that hole, wow, that's very poor. Hole seven. That's one hole I really want to forget about back here. I don't believe what happened, look. Uh, but anyway, driver in hand. Wins against. Let's try and get one down here. Another one off the hill. I'm coming right over the top. Same thing's happened with the irons as well. Really need to try and change this. Shot two. Everything at the minute is coming from basically from about here in the club, even on the driver, and coming over massively, so I'm near enough hitting the hosel every single time. So, back to basics. A little bit further away, stand tall. See if that works. Seven iron in hand. Just go lay up here. And it's got over him too. Literally clipped that big tree down there and I think we might have just rolled onto the fairway. Shot three, the green's cleared, eight iron in hand. Don't believe I'm still not on the green yet. Shot three, I need this close. Guys, what's going on with my golf? I've literally just topped it. 
short form, we're still not even on the green. I've got a pitching wedge in hand. Keep shanking things by sticking on them too close to the ball thing and coming across it and then topping it. So, short four. I've shanked it again. I've shanked it again. What is going on? Just shanking everything. And thinning the things, flipping everywhere. This isn't going well, guys. So, literally, we've been shanking them, we've been filling them, we need to get in a positive mind frame. This is the problem here, we've got a pitching wedge in hand, this is for, this is for a five. We're just holding the course. Hit the thing, Dave. Hit the bloody thing. Come down. See, I'm not even lining up or nothing, I'm just... Just everywhere, this is for a seven. There we have it. Not great. That's not a great one, guys. That's not great. Holy eight, dog leg, par five. Big dog in hand. Sorry, it's little dog, not big dog. Got five wooden hand. Where am I getting big dog from? Just gonna try and play one. Can lay my them trees up there. Winds web, I think. That should be unbelievable, guys. That should be unbelievable. What a strike. Shot two, we've literally just cleared the trees. Downwind as well, so that's why the ball is tra traveling as far. Just waiting for the fairway to clear here. Uh, currently sitting with seven iron, gonna try and get one down here. Hopefully I can get rid of these shanks because I'm seriously coming over the top, which is making me hit the hosel, which is making a hosel rocket to the right, 90 degrees. But anyway, wait for the fairway to clear here. Try and get one down. Should be good. That should just be fair. We're just playing it. Yeah, we're just playing it. We're not killing it, guys. We're just playing it. So, shot free. We're 115 yards to the pin. I think it's slightly downwind as well. Uh, pitching wedge in hand. Downwind. Wait for the green to clear here. Yeah, hopefully, try and get one on. I fend the fuck clean out of it again. What am I doing here, guys? Shot four. We're still not on the green. Keep literally fending everything. 50 at the green hand. Hope it's enough. Sorry guys, golf's not great here at the moment. Ah, that was terrible. Big, big pot for par. Sorry guys, the golf's not great here. I got rid of the shanks for so long there and I've got them back. Come in. Ah, didn't come in enough. This is for bogey. It's gonna be a double bogey. The golf started off so well. I think we had like four pars. There's a double bogey. Started off so well. We had four pars. And I've just started going back to the old shanky shanks. Hole nine, par five. Not a big par five. It's like 400 and something yards. Driver in hand. Bombs away. Not a bad strike. Up there to the left. Not bad. Come on. Shot two. Seven iron in hand. Still a good bit to go. Wasn't the biggest of drives. Seven iron in hand. This is the test. Have I got rid of them? Have I figured it out? And I can surely say, I have. Great strike. Shot free, just right hand side of the green. 58 degree in hand. As I said guys, I think I actually have figured it out. Be good. Oh, didn't even kick left on me. Didn't kick, oh it's rolling down the hill. This could be a great shot. Birdie putting. So, downhill birdie putt. Ah, oh, slow, 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 slow her down, slow her down, horsey. This is for par. Ah, 
and there's a par in the ninth. So guys, there's the end of the video, which wasn't too bad. We had a good few old janks in there, which I was not happy about, but I think I've maybe figured it out. But if you want to see if I figured it out, guys, the back nine will be up next week, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, videos go up every Friday and Monday, or Monday, Friday, whichever way you want to put it. If you've got any tips, leave it down below. Give me some advice uh, how else I can improve by not shanking the ball as much. But anyway, I think we had five powers there in the front nine, which is not bad. But I hope you enjoyed this one, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time on the channel.